Hi folks, Matt Easton here. So, a lot of the time when I'm giving 19th century accounts of people who used um, sabres and other types of sword uh, against opponents, people ask me, so why didn't they just shoot them? Well, the answer is, uh, they did sometimes, okay? So I tend to focus on the accounts where the sword gets used because that's what interests me and uh, what seems to interest most of my viewers here. Um, however, the pistol, uh, and this here is um, a Beaumont Adams revolver from about 1860, um, British revolver, large calibre, uh, about 44 calibre, um, and uh, they did indeed, of course, British officers and uh, British cavalrymen did indeed have pistols. Now, up until um, about 1850, they pretty much only had single shot pistols. Um, so officers sometimes had uh, double shot pistols, uh, but you were pretty much restricted to one or two shots from a single pistol and you could carry a brace of pistols, uh, i.e. two pistols. Um, so, you may have one shot, you may have four shots up until about 1850. Then, in 1851, um, the Colt revolver arrived on the scene, in, um, in British circles at least. It had been around a little bit longer in, in America, but the Colt revolver arrived uh, in large numbers with the uh, Colt Navy, uh, the 36 calibre Colt Navy um, was bought uh, in some quantity by the, by the um, British Armed Forces in 1851 and the same year the Adams Revolver came out although it was not, uh, at that stage I don't think it wasn't purchased by, by the um, War Department um, so, uh, and it should be mentioned as well, the officers had to buy their own equipment so it's, um, it's known that in the Crimean War and the Indian Mutiny, both in the 1850s, um, that uh, at the start of those conflicts, many British officers didn't own a pistol, or they owned an old-fashioned single-shot pistol or double-shot pistol. They didn't own revolvers. Now, even if you do have a revolver, and this is the point I really want to make, and you have a sword, swords do not run out of ammunition, okay? And uh, if you miss with a sword, you can have another try and another try and another try. Okay? Revolvers, whilst they're fantastic, and if you hit a person, often it will have a much more immediate effect than a sword will. Um, if we're talking about the 1850s and the 1860s, where a lot of the sources I read from uh, come from, um, there are some issues with a revolver. Okay? Firstly, you have to have one. <laughs> uh, otherwise, it's kind of irrelevant to the point. So assume we have one because uh, you may only have a single shot pistol or, or a pair of single shot pistols, in which case you've got one shot, two shots, and then you have to use your sword because you don't have time to reload if you're you know, in a siege or you're uh, advancing on, on enemy or whatever, okay? Uh, or if there are multiple opponents. If we have a revolver, we have, if it's a British one, five shots with large calibre. If it's an American revolver cult, you've got six shots with a smaller calibre. Um, so, you've got five or six shots. Those five or six shots might kill five or six people, or they might not. Okay, why might they not? Well, firstly, we have misfires. Percussion, uh, percussion lock, cap and ball um, pistols sometimes miss a chamber. They don't fire off a chamber, and you just keep pulling the trigger and go to the next chamber. So you might not get your full five or six out of your revolver. Secondly, sometimes they jam. Unfortunately, particularly Colts, Colts had a problem with the percussion caps getting stuck in the cylinder um, and it, in stopping the cylinder revolving, which jams the whole uh, mechanism. And if you're in the middle of combat, you don't have time to unjam it, usually. Okay? Uh, Adams were better, they were less prone to jamming, um, but, um, but the Colt was more accurate, so they, they've got strengths and weaknesses between those two. Um, so, the revolver might jam. Assuming it doesn't jam, assuming all chambers shoot, uh, all chambers ignite, fire off, okay, you've still only got a maximum of, of five or six with your one revolver. Okay? Now, assuming you've got six, we'll take the maximum number there, you've got six shots, are you going to kill six people? Well, how good a marksman are you? Okay? You've got to bear in mind that at any time when you've got people coming at you with swords, bayonets and other things, because we're talking about close range with a revolver, generally, and therefore you need to have a hand weapon uh, ready and out and uh, ready to deal with someone who's suddenly too close for you to shoot at or on top of you. Okay? So generally speaking we're shooting left handed, uh, we are moving and our opponents are moving. Now anybody, it, it doesn't kind of matter actually how much 
uh, real shooting experience you've got. If you've ever been paintballing or airsofting or indeed played computer games where you're running around trying to shoot someone else who's running around and you've only got six shots to do it. Okay, So we've only got six shots, we're moving, they're moving, maybe ducking, dodging, there are maybe obstacles in the way, we might be moving in and out of buildings and such like, or around trees. Um, are we going to kill six people? Well, that clearly the maximum we can do is kill six people, but probably we're not. Okay, Probably, if we're lucky, we're going to kill three or four people with our revolver, and assuming we don't have time to reload. So, you can start to see a situation whereby having this as a backup is very, very useful. Okay, Because even under the optimum situation, the most number of people in a close combat situation we can kill, uh, or defend ourselves from, uh, is six. In this case, with this bigger bore uh, revolver, five. Okay, So I've got five shots, don't have time to reload in a combat area, Okay, unless maybe if I, maybe in a siege I might, or maybe if I'm in buildings or I've got men to prep me while I reload, possibly. But usually, don't have time to reload, five shots. I might shoot a couple of guys if I'm lucky, if I don't miss. If I hit them, even if I do hit them, remember they might not go down, I might hit them in the leg, might hit them in the arm, might just be a, you know, a, a graze or a flesh wound. Okay, so, these guns, they're not magical. And the other thing to remember is black powder is not as powerful as modern uh, nitro. Okay, so uh, they don't shoot as far, they don't shoot, they can probably shoot as accurately, but they don't shoot as far and they don't hit as hard. Uh, and uh, often we're using um, quite large uh, conical or ball ammunition which doesn't penetrate, doesn't do as much damage to the target. Okay, so they're not as lethal as a modern handgun. Um, and you, obviously you can't load it quickly like you can with a modern handgun. So there you go. Uh, hand weapons, be they bayonets or swords, um, are still really, really important in the period when revolvers are first around. Okay? Even in a best case scenario, you can't take that many people out with this before you have to use this. Cheers!